it's not easy to catch these migratory birds. It has to be done at night so that the birds cannot see the net. Tonight we are very lucky. We came in with our desired bird species of interest, which is a lesser sand plover. Where do they go to in their whole migration journey is not very well known. The reason why they are here is because they need to escape the harsh winter in the northern hemisphere. They will stay for four to six months to refuel their bodies. As part of our second phase of research, we got a much smaller satellite tracker. So we're going to put this on this bird today. It's a very intricate process to fit the tracker in a harness form carefully and sensitively so that we do not shaft the birds. We don't want to spend too much time holding on to the bird for too long to minimize the stress. The recent satellite tracking work that we did showed that actually even the birds that end up in small Singapore somewhere below, they use two ways. One goes by the East Asian Australasian Flyway, the other one went by the Central Asian Flyway. They are flying across mountains like the Himalayas range, which is above 4,000. So it opens up a lot of new knowledge and fill up a lot of gaps that we previously didn't know. We follow an international code. The Singapore colour is green over white. So if you go anywhere else in the world, if you see a shorebird, there's this tag green over white, you know that it was tagged in Singapore from Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve. So it gets very exciting when uh, the birds that we flagged in uh, Sungai Bulo get spotted in other wetlands that we may not even know of. And this information helps to guide our human decisions like which are the areas to protect and which are the areas that we can use sustainably. This particular flyway that we are in, the East Asian Australasian Flyway, is already facing the largest decline in the populations of migratory birds. So if we don't do something about it, in a few generations and lifetime, we might really see that some of these birds might actually face extinction, as well as the habitats that they use, and we will lose them. So Ibulo is a, is a special happy place for me because uh, just like the animals here, I'm quite a wetland person. I love the sea, I love mangroves. I also feel that it's very unique that in small Singapore, this is the only wetland reserve that is legally gazetted and protected. It's thriving in a very small haven of its own. The daily work that we do in Sungai Bulo for the migratory birds is part of a larger picture to conserve and restore Singapore's natural ecosystem to transform Singapore into a city in nature. I would really love other people to know about this place and also enjoy uh, what I enjoy today.